Hello and welcome to this uh, Jobfish 2010 tutorial. In this tutorial I wanted to show you how to import a couple of job records and then I wanted to show you a few things with them. For, for, the, for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to use Craigslist just to be consistent with the other videos and I'm going to just import two records from say like the market, you know, just say from, you know, marketing. So <clears throat> right now you see the Jobfish uh, Board Import Console opening up, and as soon as it finishes loading, I'm going to come over here and select the marketing. I'm just going to load the uh, first uh, page results, which is uh, you know, which is uh, and it's already set to one, so I don't need to do anything. So I'm just going to say load. And just as a side comment, uh, so if you have dual monitor support, as I've been saying, you can. Put this on a separate monitor, or you can turn this off by going into this main tab over here and clicking on options, and then, you know, disabling that. Then you can just enlarge this and just use, uh, you know, this lower pane. But okay, well, let's. Uh, um, if you wanted to apply to the jobs, you know, it's like say, well, we don't want an entry level, but uh, like recruiting manager, and you, know, you can just come over here to apply. But I'm just going to fast forward this, and let's see you applied, and Jeff has automatically checked it. And so we've automatically applied to that. And you know, this one from Creative Circle sounds good too. So let's put that one over here. And so, you know, right now I'm going to just push the import jobs button and let's import the two jobs that we just selected. And as you can see, it's, you know, right now Jobfish uh, finished installing it and you see the job IDs and recruit okay so we don't need this anymore so I just close out of that and if you come over here to the my jobs uh, button or tab I don't know, it's and then we're going to just refresh the list and you'll see right over here you'll see the uh, two jobs so I'm going to select both of them and then I'm just going to select the properties to open up the two jobs so in just a second, you'll see the uh, two jobs open. And there's a new feature inside of Jobfish, which is actually uh, pretty cool. Yeah, that I wanted to talk about. There's the recruiting manager. And that is basically the, uh, if you click on the top node, which is over here after it opens up, the open job record, you can very quickly, you know, make, uh, you know, changes. So right over here, if you want to just get information at a glance, Here's the recruiting manager. Here's the creative circle. And as Los Angeles, you can uh, Craigslist. And uh, and you can you know you can easily uh, see that there are no interactions over you know here. Uh, there's a uh, no inter there's no schedule never used. And you can write it you know from one place all the open job records. You know you can easily make changes. If you wanted to add in a recruiter over here. Is then you can just you know easily you know type it in. Craigslist imports assuming that it's an employer. Most other you know uh, boards like you know uh, Career Builder and Monster assume that it's a recruiter. Now for yeah you know, since you know this is uh, you know you know it's a uh, you know my workspace. You know we want to refresh this list. And the one for Creative Circle, you know, we just want to click on the properties. And it'll come up, you know, we can, you know, just change the name to Creative Circle. And just click on the OK. And then, you know, so we made, you know, you know that change. And if you were to close the jobs and then refresh it, you know, it'll show. But I just want to briefly show that, you know, here's the basic tab. You see all the different information. You have the uh, recruitment. Here's the employer and the recruiter, and you see uh, it's here's the creative circle and the name that we just changed. But in the basic tab, you don't have to like always go to all these different tabs. In a lot of it, you can just uh, change the name over here, or you can just type in you know directly over here, and Jobfish will automatically change it. Here's the board ID. So there's a lot over here. Here's a static copy because a lot of times what happens. Is you know you know Craigslist or you know especially on the other job boards, they'll take the they'll take uh, the advertisement down. So you always have the static copy, and then of course here's the live posted copy. 
And then you know Jawfish will try its best to extract the D's description, and so you have that here. And you can you can edit the salary details, and you can put in the you know the re requirement and basic skills. In this case, this job board does not uh, extract them, so you know you would have to uh, you know do that yourself. And we did not attach a presentation package uh, quickly, but because we didn't apply for it, but you know you can't come over here and do that uh, you know your, yourself over here and then of course you know it's uh, if you don't have any job records open by the way you know this all stuff gets grayed out as long as they're getting to you know preview come over here and read the blog and give your comments we'd like to hear from you and this concludes this uh, Jobfish uh, 2010 tutorial thank you